Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going back into this gorgeous beauty right here. The All That Palette by ColourPop. Gorgeous. I did a red sultry type of Valentine's look in my first review of looking at this gorgeous palette. So I wanted to do something softer and show you guys that you don't have to go super dark with this palette. You can also go sweet and innocent. But guys, before we get into it, we are so close to 500. I'm so excited. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we are going to do a huge giveaway. So guys, with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, why am I holding my finger up like this? If you guys are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. Let's get into this look. Going in with my Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill J42 highlighting, like eyebrow brush, in my opinion, is what. But I'm going to go into uncuffed. We're going to go into a lighter, not so shimmery. Yes, look at that. Eyebrow highlight. Then I want to go in with the Siete London Coconut Setting Powder. I really love this. And the Alamar Cosmetics Brightening Brush. I'm going to just put actually a generous amount under my eye. Because I want to catch all that fallout if we get any. Okay. So that will catch the shadow that falls and then I'll just be able to, you know, get that right out of there. So first I'm going to go in with my Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH33 blending brush. First I'm going to close this powder because that gets all over the place. I'm going to go into BB Girl, which is this shade right here. And just put that in the crease and outer lid. I really like this light pink so much. Oh my gosh. It's like a gorgeous light baby pink. And then I'm going to go in with Come Through and add that on top of the crease to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. And just blend that. And then we're going to go into come through and add that to deepen up the crease a little bit more as well. Give a little bit more depth. You could keep it super light if you want to. Then I'm going to go in with my JH40, this nice detailed brush. And I'm going to go very lightly into the feels. Just to add a little dimension to that outer corner. Like that outer V. Just a little bit. Not crazy like we did in the last look. Just like that. And then you want to take, uh, go into Cha Cha. And take your blending brush. I am using my JH32 Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill. And then just blend right over that. And there you go. It just gave it like a shadow of dimension right there. Then I'm going to go into my JH41 and go into Fishnets, which is this gorgeous shade right there. And go on my outer lid. I think this is best used with a finger, is my guess. Just want a little bit of control. I'm going to go with my finger. It's a very velvety, velvety formula right there. Yeah, see, look at that. And 
just blend and lightly tap and smooth in as you go. And then I'm going to go into risque in with my finger, popping it on my finger. Look at that. Oh, I love. I live and I love. And we're just smoothing that out. Do you see why I got the powder on there? Holy goodness. And then with my JH43, we're going to go in with Come Through and go on the lower lash line. Get that lower lash line. We're also going to go into Cha Cha. I want to deepen up the crease just a little bit. So I need more. I need more depth. I need it. So I'm going into Please Me and just deepening up that crease so I can get more of that definition I want. Going back into come through and just blending over that because I don't want it so harsh. I'm so glad I put this powder there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going into risque again and I'm going to wet the shadow because I want I want a little I want a little bit more. Even though it's like a soft look. Oh yeah, look at that. That is risque wet. That is so much better. Yes. <gasps> so guys, I'm going to wipe this away because <laughs> this looks crazy. See? See? See what that powder right there helps does? Oh my gosh, so much better. This is the soft look I created and it's going to look even better with a wing and liner and lashes. I will be right back. So guys, that is the final look. It's a softer less sultry look for Valentine's Day or just every day. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and liked this softer look. If you're not into the softer look, go check out my red sultry look. It will be in the description down below. If you don't know, this palette retails for $18. So if you like this palette, Go check it out at colourpop.com and you can get all different types of looks. This is very simple and easy to create. Now all we need to do is add the finishing touch. This set is $12. I love it so much. I'm going in with the shade The Strand. Mm, every time you get a whiff of those berries. And that just amps the look up just a little bit more. So I, I love these. These are so cute. And when you blot this off, if you don't want all this glossiness, it gives you a gorgeous light tint to it. I really love it. It's so cute. So guys, I hope you guys really liked this. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you guys think. And guys, don't forget, we're so close to hitting 500, hitting that big giveaway that's coming up. So if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. I love you guys so, so very much. Bye.